So practice 7.4, questions number 1. Determine whether the following pairs of straight lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other. If two straight lines, they are parallel to each other, then the two straight lines will having the same gradient. But if two straight lines, they are perpendicular to each other, then when we multiply the gradient of the two straight lines together, then it will give us the answer of negative 1. To find the gradients, we are going to convert the equations given into the gradient form, which is y equal to mx plus c. The m, which is the coefficients of x, will give us the gradient of the straight lines. For the first straight lines in questions A, to change it to gradient form, first we want to move these 2x to the right hand side. So 3y equal to negative 2x plus 9. Then we're going to move the number 3 to the right hand side. So both of the negative 2x and the 9 will be divided by 3. So y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So now the gradient for the first straight lines is negative 2 over 3. As for straight lines number 2, so we're going to move the 4x to the right hand side. So 6y is equal to negative 4x. Then move the number 6, so it will be negative 4 over 6x. So the number 4 and 6, we can simplify this. So y is equal to negative 2 over 3x. So here, the negative 2 over 3 will be the gradient of the second straight lines. As both of these straight lines are having the same gradients, then these pairs of straight lines are parallel to each other. Questions B. So for the first straight lines, y equal to 3 over 4x minus 5, this equation is already written in gradient form. So this 3 over 4 will be the gradient of the first straight lines. And for the second straight lines, to convert this into gradient form, we're going to move the negative 3x to the right hand side. So 4y is equal to 3x plus 12. Then move the 4 to the right hand side. y equal to 3 over 4x. And 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So here the gradient is equal to 3 over 4 for the second straight lines. So here the gradient for both straight lines are equal to each other. Then this pair of straight lines are parallel to each other. Question C. To change the first equations into gradient form, I'm going to move the negative 2y to the right hand side. So that's I will get a positive 1. Then I'm going to move the 6 to the left hand side. So by doing this, positive 2y is equal to x minus 6. Then move the number 2 to the right hand side. So y equal to, so here the x is, we have the coefficients of 1. So it will be 1 over 2, x minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So here the gradient for the first straight lines is equal to 1 over 2. For the second equations, we're going to move this 2x to the right hand side. So y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. So here the gradient is equal to negative 2. So the gradient for both equations are not the same. Then these two straight lines are not parallel to each other. To confirm whether they are perpendicular to each other, then we need to multiply these two gradients together. So 1 over 2 times negative 2. Solve this, the answer is equal to negative 1. Then these two straight lines are perpendicular to each other. Questions D. For the first equations, move this 2x to the right hand side. So 3y equal to negative 2x plus 9. Then move the number 3 to the right hand side. So y is equal to negative 2 over 3x and when 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So here the gradient for the first straight line is negative 2 over 3. And for the second equations, just move this number 2 to the right hand side. So y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 
So the gradient for the second straight line is 3 over 2. As the gradient for these two straight lines are not equal to each other, then they are not parallel. To confirm whether they are perpendicular to each other, then we're going to multiply these two gradient. So it will be negative 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. So simplify this, the answer is equal to negative 1. Then we can set this pair of straight lines are perpendicular to each other. Question number 2. The following pairs of straight lines are parallel, such that P is a constant. Finds the value of P. So first we're going to convert the equations given into gradient forms to find the gradient. So for the first straight lines in questions A, to convert this into gradient form, I'm going to move the 2 to the right hand side. So when 10 divided by 2, you get the answer of 5 minus, so the coefficients for x here is 1, therefore it will be 1 over 2x. Rearrange this, you will get y equal to negative 1 over 2x plus 5. So here the gradient is equal to negative 1 over 2. As for the second straight lines, y equal to p 3px minus 1, these equations already written in gradient forms. So here the gradient for the second straight line will be the 3p. As these pairs of straight lines are parallel, then the value of the m1 and m2 are equal. So here we can say that 3p is equal to negative 1 over 2. To find the value of p, we're going to move the 3 to the right hand side. So p is equal to negative 1 over 2 divided by 3. This is the same as negative 1 over 2 times 1 over 3. So p is equal to negative 1 over 6. Questions B. The first equation here is written in intercept form. So from the intercept form, we can find the x-intercept and the y-intercept for the straight lines. So here the x-intercept will be the number 3. And as for the y-intercept, it will be the negative 6. So here we can find the gradient of the first straight lines using the formula negative y-intercept divided by x-intercept. So here it will be negative negative 6 divided by 3, which is equal to positive 2. As for the second straight line here, we're going to write these equations in, in gradient form. So I'm going to move the p to the right hand side. So y is equal to 4 over px minus 6 over p. So here the gradient is equal to 4 over p. So as these straight lines are parallel, so both of them are having the same gradient. So we can write 4 over p, this is equal to 2. To solve this, move the p to the right hand side. So 4 is equal to 2p. Then move the 2 to the left hand side. So p is equal to 4 over 2. So p is equal to 2. Questions number 3. The following pairs of straight lines are perpendicular to each other. Find the value of constants k. For questions A, we're going to convert the equations into gradient form. So first move the 3x to the right hand side. So 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 15. Then move the number 5. So y is equal to negative 3 over 5x plus 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So here the gradient of this equation is negative 3 over 5. And for the second equation, to convert this into gradient form, I'm going to move the negative ky to the right hand side so that I will get the positive 1 and the number 2 to the left hand side. So positive ky, this is equal to 5x minus 2. Next, move the k to the right hand side. So y is equal to k 5 over kx minus 2 over k. So here the gradient is equal to 5 over k. 
So these straight lines are perpendicular to each other. So when we multiply the gradient of these two straight lines, it will give us the answer of negative 1. So here negative 3 over 5 times 5 over k, the answer is equal to negative 1. So the 5 here, we can cancel it. So here negative 3 over k is equal to negative 1. So both sides are negative. So divide it with negative 1, then we can cancel the post and negative signs. So next, move the k to the right hand side. So k is equal to 3. Questions B. The first straight line here is written in intercept form. So here the x-intercept is equal to positive 3. And for the y-intercept, it is equal to positive 9. So to find the gradient of the first straight line, we're going to use the formula negative y-intercept divided by x-intercept. So this is equal to negative 9 over 3. So simplify this, the answer is equal to negative 3. As for the second equation, we're going to write this in gradient form. So move the k to the right hand side. So y is equal to 2 over k x minus 7 over k. So here the gradient for the second equation is 2 over k. So this pair of straight lines are also perpendicular to each other. So when negative 3 times 2 over k, the answer is equal to negative 1. So on the left hand side, negative 3 times 2 over k, this is equal to negative 6 over k equal to negative 1. So both sides are negative, so divide it with negative 1 on both sides, you will get a positive answer. To find the k, move the k to the right hand side. Therefore, k is equal to 6. Questions number 4. The vertices of a triangle ABC are A11, B, negative 1, 4, and C, 5, A. Find the value of constant A if AB is perpendicular to BC. So this will be the triangle ABC look like. As we are given the coordinate for each vertex, to find the gradient, we are going to use the formula m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So first we are going to find the gradient AB. So here the gradient AB is equal to 4 minus 1 over negative 1 minus 1. So this is equal to 3 over negative 2, which is the same as negative 3 over 2. Next, to find the gradient BC, it will be A minus 4 over 5 minus negative 1. So this is equal to A minus 4 over 6. As AB is perpendicular to BC, so when we multiply the gradient of AB with the gradient of BC, the answer is equal to negative 1. So here negative 3 over 2 times A minus 4 over 6, this is equal to negative 1. So here I'm going to move the negative 3 over 2 to the right hand side. So A minus 4 divided by 6, this is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 3 over 2, which is the same as negative 1 times negative 2 over 3. So the answer on the right hand side here will be positive 2 over 3. Next, I'm going to move the 6 to the right hand side. So a minus 4 is equal to 2 over 3 times 6. So the answer for the right hand side here, after you simplify the 6 and 3, the answer is 4. So a is equal to 4 plus 4. So the answer for the a is equal to n.